Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you guys how we can configure our Wazoo Manager to only allow agents to connect to it with a password or a public-private key pair. Uh, so as of now, right, our Wazoo agents can connect to our managers without having to provide any type of authentication. Without this authentication in place, then the Wazoo manager will just blindly register our Wazoo agent without doing any verification. So in this video, I wanna show you guys how we can set up password authentication as well as a public-private key pair authentication as well. Uh, so for requirements for this video, we will need, of course, a Wazoo manager, a Wazoo agent, and then we're going to use OpenSSL, which should be installed, uh, which should be brought in when you did the Wazoo manager install. So we should have this library here already that we can take advantage of. And so procedure of today's video, I wanna cover how we can register Wazoo agents with a password, and then how we could also generate a, a root CA on our manager that we then use to sign our agent certs and then use that to authenticate with our Wazoo manager. So our process will go, our Wazoo agent will try to register with our manager, and then the Wazoo manager will ask the question, you know, should I let you register? Should I trust you? And that will either be with our password or or our public private key pair. And then assuming that that is correct, we'll allow the Wazoo agent to register with it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into that. And all right, so if I go into my Wazoo uh, web interface that we have here, and I go to deploy a new agent. Um, I will, I'm just going to deploy an agent on a CentOS box. Um, so I'm choosing my operating system version and architecture here. And then I am pointing to my public IP address that I have wa my Wazoo manager listening on. I have assigned it to just a default group. And then you see we have our command here that we can use to quickly install the Wazoo agent and then connect it to our manager. So this isn't doing any authentication as of now, right? So I could copy this command. I will then tail the manager log files and we'll see the registration come in from my CentOS box. So I have my agent on the left screen here and then my manager on the right. So once we paste this command in here, the Wazoo agent will be installed and then it will reach out to the manager to get a key. And here we can see on the right, we got a new connection from that agent and the agent key was generated. And then our manager is adding that authentication key to its files where it stores all the, all the keys for the agents, right? So, so now, uh, and this demonstrates how anyone, as long as they point an agent to the correct address of a Wazoo manager, if you're not doing this authentication, would be able to connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a yum remove uh, Wazoo agent to uninstall the software. And let's go ahead and configure password authentication. So uh, Wazoo actually has this documented pretty nicely, which I will link into the description below. And I'm gonna go ahead and follow this documentation uh, for both the registration of a password and then registration with a, a key pair. So what we first need to do is configure our auth block on our Wazoo manager to set our use password to yes. So if I jump back on my manager here, I will go into our osec.conf file. And if I scroll down to the auth section, you see that as of now, our use password is set to no. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change that to yes. And then what we'll also need to do is create a store our password within this off d.pass file and we can use this echo command to just put a random string in here and then that will create this file as well so go ahead and copy that command I will paste that here and for my password I will just say please subscribe and I will enter that, and then I will go ahead and restart our Wazoo Manager. And then let's try to now, without password verification coming from the coming from the agent, let's try to do that registration process again, and we'll see our Wazoo Manager actually deny the request. Um, and now let's try to run that command again, where we want to authenticate with our Wazoo manager, but our agent is not gonna provide a password. So we should see the Wazoo manager deny 
this request here. So I'm going through that install. As part of that install, it reaches out for a key. And here we see invalid password provided by, and this is the IP address of my agent. So our agent was not able to successfully connect to this guy. It's good. So now let's actually configure our agent to use that password parameter. Add my IP address. I'll select my group. Uh, just as default and then here you can see our uh, a, a new parameter is being passed in right so wazoo registration password and it has it start out within the web UI but once we copy and paste this to our agent uh, we will see that in clear text there so I'll go ahead and copy that and then if we look at our manager and then back on our agent let's go ahead and paste this command and now you can see we're using the the registration password here as please subscribe so let's go ahead and give that a run. And now our Wazoo manager will see that request come in with the password and create a key for it. So here we can see um, it came in with a duplicate agent name, but that's fine. Here you can see agent key generated for our agent, for our new agent. And the manager has updated its authentication file to with the new generated key for our agent. So we're now doing password verification. So now in order to register an agent with the manager, you have to provide this right password. And so that's pretty sweet, but let's go ahead and take it a step further and create a root CA uh, with using our Wazoo manager and then create a key pair for our Wazoo agent. And let's now go to the registration service with host verification. I'll just throw this out to the side here and stop that and then now I'm going to actually just CD into my op directory this can be into any directory we'll eventually copy it over uh, here in a sec anyways but now I'm going to use OpenSSL to create a new certificate and this will be our root this will be our root CA so this is what will be on the manager and then we're going to use this root CA to create certificates for our agents so I'll go ahead and copy this command here and paste that there. You could, of course, uh, change your subject parameters and match uh, something of your choosing with the country, state, and then organization. Here it's just manager, but you could have it fit to be your organization. I could say open secure or whatever I wanted. Um, so here you see now we've created our private key and then our cert for our root CA. So that looks good. So now I'm actually going to select the tab with registration with Wazoo agent verification. Let's now issue a cert that we're going to use for our agent. So I'm going to copy this top command here and paste that in. And if we ls this out, we now see our agent.key and then our SSL agent CSR. And now we're going to use, we're going to sign this certificate request by our agent with our root CA. Right, so I'm going to use our the root CA cert and then the root CA key to actually sign this certificate that we're going to pass then to the agent. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this block here. And we shouldn't need to change any names, yeah, because that's all the same. So I'll go ahead and enter that in. And if I do an LS, we now see our SSL agent dot cert. So this cert has now been signed by our root CA here, right? So now when, when an agent attempts to authenticate with our manager with this cert, our manager will say, okay, yeah, I have signed this cert, so I'm going to allow you to connect to me. So then we're going to copy our root CA cert into our var osec etc directory. So I'll just copy and paste that there. And now let's open the osec.conf again. And if I scroll down to the off, I will set my use password here. I will change that to no. And then here I will uncomment out the SSL agent CA block. And in between that there, I'm, I'm going to now point to where our root CA cert is. Uh, so I've named this the same as what they've gone through in the documentation. So this root ca.pim will apply to me. If you named it something different, um, then just make sure you reflect that accordingly. So I'll paste that there, and then that should be all we need to do. So I'll go ahead now and save that, and then restart our manager. 
And all right, so now that we have our agent cert and key generated, what we now need to do is move our cert and key over to our Wazoo agent. So here I am on my manager and I'm just gonna use a text editor to open the contents of the, first I'm gonna copy the SSL agent.cert over. So I'm just going to copy this guy and then on my agent here, I'm just going to open a file called SSL agent.cert and I'll just keep it the same name for simplicity. All right, so I'll save that guy off and now I will do the same for the key. So I'll open the SSL agent.key and I will copy the contents of our private key here and then I will do the same SSL agent.key. I'll open up this file on our Wazoo agent, paste the contents there and that all looks good and go ahead and save that off and we shouldn't need to make any permission changes they should be fine as long as you're installing the wazoo agent as the root user uh, so if you're installing as a different user just make sure your certain key uh, that the user that you're installing as has access to read the certain key files that are on the box and let me just grab one of our previous commands here so i'm going to copy this guy and of course we're going to make a few changes here right we're not using our registration password anymore so I'll go ahead and remove that parameter and I'm going to replace that with our two new ones that'll point to our cert and that'll point to our key so I'm gonna go ahead and paste this guy in here and here we see we are specifying this will be our wazoo registration key and I'm pointing it to where in our op directory, the key resides within my op directory here. And I'm pointing to my SSL agent.key. And then for the registration certificate, we're pointing to our SSL agent.cert. So now when the Wazoo agent now attempts to register with our manager, it will provide it with the, it will provide the manager our certain key. Our manager will observe the certain key and ask itself, was this something that was signed by me, right? And that's where we specify within the var osec osec.conf, we're specifying our certificate authority here. So when the agent presents the manager with that certain key, the manager will say, is this something that I have signed? And if it is, then I will allow you to register with me and allow you to forward me your logs, right? So if we go ahead and I'll go ahead and tail out the osec.log file, let's go ahead and kick off this command that will install Wazoo, uh, but also provide the registration key and certificate so that our manager will accept the connection. So we go ahead and say why, and let's look at our logs here. So you can see agent key generated for agent, authentication file changed, updating, reading, authentication keys file. So that looks good. So our agent has now registered to our manager via our certain key pair here. We see that we are now connected and running. So that looks good. Just to prove, just to, prove to you guys here that that is what's being used um, and reinstall, but I'm actually going to change our, I'll change our key. So this should give us a wrong key. So I'll just add two equal signs here so when this is presented to the manager the manager will say hey this doesn't look right and not allow it to register with the wazoo manager service so if i save that and then we run this again and am i still tailing that okay that looks good we'll go ahead and run that again and let's see we get that we could not set up an ssl connection so it's looking good. So in this video, we covered our two options, right? We covered our password authentication as, as, as well as our key slash shirt authentication. And of course you could take this a step forward and generate unique certs and keys for all of your Wazoo agents if you want to. So all of those would be signed by the root CA, which would be the manager itself. And you could distribute out the certs that way. You could take this approach where every Wazoo agent gets the same cert and key and every agent that registers with the Wazoo manager provides the same cert and key. That's totally fine too. So there's some different combinations that can be made, but I hope this video help show you guys how we can add some security to our 
Wazoo Manager registration process, so we're not just blindly trusting anyone that wants to connect to our Wazoo Manager, but we are verifying that, hey, this is someone who I actually want to allow to register with my Wazoo agent. So I think that wraps it up for today's video. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, and I will see you in the next one.